Hello guys welcome back to our anime moments. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Perfect World based on novel. So let's. Arrived? Be careful. Chingy warned, fearing that Shahao at the front might suffer from something unexpected. She already supported the green lunar flame, ready to provide assistance at any moment, the one that should be careful is him. Shahao said. His body was tall and strong, his black hair hanging down to his waist. With a great halberd in hand, he directly rushed forward. Sure enough, it was as they expected. There was some deviation, not entering a divine ancient land. This was a wild forest where apes and tigers roared. There wasn't any spiritual elegance to be seen, there shouldn't be any mistake. It is definitely within a range of a thousand li. The divine striking stone said. This wasn't too far, but it wasn't a short amount of distance either. They restrained their auras and started to search through the mountain forest for immortal palace inheritors place of isolation, a dangerous place. When they arrived in this mountain range, they were immediately given a fright. There were too many bugs around them, all of different species. Many of them already developed intelligence, devouring the sun and moon's essence. They hid within rocks and plants, poisonous mist coiling around them. The closer they went, the darker the skies became. That was a gathering of poisonous bugs, a fog produced by the poison they took in and sent out. Shahao gave it a try. The mists unexpectedly corroded divine force. There were many scorpions, as well as other unknown bugs, so strange, don't tell me there are some bug emperors here, right? It's too vicious. Even deities would suffer a disaster after entering. The divine striking stone said. Even someone as powerful as him feared the corrosive poison of these bugs. Shahao used the void halberd to cut apart the void, moving through the air to avoid these vicious bugs. There were some places that were truly dangerous with scorpions and poisonous creatures covering entire mountains and valleys. It was terrifying to the extreme. There were also ravines with centipedes wriggling about everywhere, some half meter in length, others several jong in length. It made one's scalp feel numb from looking at them. There were even a few mountain peaks where enormous and sparkling spiderwebs hung between them. Those poisonous spiders varied from the size of a fist to the size of a person's calf. They were brightly colored, and there were even some that were pure golden. They were clearly terrifying creatures, an ancient divine tree. Shahao was startled awake. His heart was greatly shaken. He never expected to see a sacred divine medicine here. It was extremely large, several tens of jong tall. If the tree was eaten like an ancient medicine, it would be simply unimaginable. Shahao cut open the void with the void halberd, bringing Ching Yi and the divine striking stone over, arriving at an optimal location that avoided the various poisonous bugs. He carefully looked at it. Ching Yi could see it, and she was similarly shocked. The feeling this ancient tree gave off was too powerful. From a certain perspective, the divine tree was even more precious than flower and plant shaped divine medicines. After all, a tree was much larger, and the medicinal effects it carried would be much greater. Even though it was still the concentration of essence that was important, once it reached a certain degree, it would still be extremely shocking. Yi, something's not right. The aura of experts here is too great. Ching Yi was startled, feeling many true deity auras pervading the air, completely undisguised. Shahao had long discovered this. He was also carefully observing. These experts were all poisonous bugs, but they were far more powerful than the poisonous creatures outside. There were dragon-horned toads, golden centipedes with wings, and brightly colored scorpions surrounded by a divine ring. They were all different colors, the auras they released astonishing. These were all true deities, a large group of them. All of them were in different locations, taking in and sending out poisonous energy towards this ancient tree, absorbing the radiance the divine tree released, ten thousand creatures are kneeling and bowing with worship. What are they doing? What kind of background does this ancient tree have? All of their expressions changed. Upon closer inspection, they saw that there were a few divine bug corpses under the tree that were unexpectedly at the heavenly deity level, heavens, what kind of background does this tree have? Even the divine striking stone couldn't help but cry out. Shahao frowned. Those corpses died in rather strange ways. Some of them still displayed vitality, only, it seemed like they had entered a state of sleep, so they were not much different from being dead, immortal ancients natives generally wouldn't leave their respective tribal areas, or else unexpected things would happen. Could it be that these dead heavenly deities are related to this? Also, it is easier for descendants from outside immortal ancients to display problems, 
going mad once they reach heavenly deity level or directly die. Qin Yi said. Sha Hao noted. The heavenly deities under the ancient tree likely belong to those types of situations. Suddenly, Qin Yi vaguely recalled something that had been recorded down. She cried out with shock, I think I know what it is, it's the 10,000 poison tree. Even though it was a divine tree, it contained all types of poisons, giving it the title 10,000 poisons. For normal deities, this was fatal, but for the poisonous bugs, it was the most precious tree. It had 10,000 poison divine fruits which, upon being ingested, if one could hold on and not die, one could immediately become a heavenly deity. It was just like the fruit of a heavenly deity tree. For normal cultivators, eating a single fruit would allow them to become a heavenly deity, the divine effects terrifying, how unfortunate, we can't eat it, Shahao felt regretful. Something strange, the formation Immortal Palace laid really is too similar to the one Willow deity set up in Stone Village, likely formations that came from the same era. The divine striking stone was shocked, I had previously heard that Immortal Palace's inheritance is related to Immortals, inseparably linked to the last great era. Qin Yi said. Sha Hao was speechless. He thought back to the battlefield he saw the first time he opened the Three World Coffin. There was a willow tree there that looked exactly the same as the willow deity, powerful and matchless, surrounded by immortal light as it unleashed a slaughter, if it is this type of formation, then it is much easier. I can bring us in. The divine striking stone said if we enter like this, do you think he'll be scared out of his mind? The divine striking stone laughed strangely. If the other person was cultivating in isolation, about to break through, about 90% there, but suddenly frightened while immersed in a deep state of Tao comprehension, there would definitely be a great problem. At worst, he might directly die, let's go. He offered a bounty to kill me, so I have to treat him like this. Let's first scare him until half his body is paralyzed. Shahao said, his eyes forceful. The space around them distorted. Silver-colored symbols flickered about, covering everything before him densely. That 10,000 poison tree's terrifying formation displayed its might, stopping the void passage from being opened, then let's just fly over. Even if there are true deities, they still can't stop us. The divine striking stone said with a rather domineering tone. It felt that this distance could be covered with a single rush. Once they reached the formation, that was its domain. It was the first one to move, but in the end, it moved quickly, but ran quickly as well. In the end, it was still feeling remaining fear. That 10,000 poison tree was displaying its power, releasing tens of thousands of streaks of auspicious light. For the poisonous bugs, it was a holy substance that could nourish the body, but for others, it was a disastrous thing. This type of poison turned into light, able to corrode divine force and weaken one's cultivation. Even though the divine striking stone was tough and nearly unbreakable, it was still worried about its own cultivation being corroded by the poisonous light. Recently, it was close to breaking through, so it didn't want to take the risk. Shahao gave it a try, discovering that his only heavenly passage was able to hold on until the other side. However, the corrosion wasn't light either. Qing Yi was opposed to him doing this, because he still had to fight afterwards. He had to maintain the most optimal state, with even the slightest corrosion of divine force or the slight exhaustion of cultivation not good. She supported her green lunar flame, and as a result, the 10,000 poison tree began to sway and rumble, as if it provoked a great disaster. Many of the poisonous bugs were alarmed, about to rush over, as expected, this ancient divine tree, formation, and poisonous bugs are all important elements to his own protection. No wonder he chose this place. Shahao said softly to himself. He tried to hide himself in the divine cauldron and rush over while hiding inside of it, but in the end, the precious cauldron was corroded terribly, it seems like I can only use this. It's a good time to test how powerful it is exactly. Shahao used the earth to inch his great divine ability to avoid the hordes of true deity-level poisonous bugs, producing the pill furnace. The pill furnace had lightning inside, as well as curse power. However, now that he cultivated the lightning emperor technique, it was already difficult for it to injure him. Shahao placed Qing Yi and the divine striking stone into the heaven and earth pouch, and then he himself hid in the pill furnace. Then, with extreme speed, he moved over, shooting into the formation like a falling star. When he emerged, they were shocked at the pill furnace's rigidity. It was because the 10,000 poison tree was extremely terrifying. It released streak after streak of ripples that were unexpectedly close to heavenly deity level fluctuations. The surroundings were covered densely with symbols, terrifying to the extreme, this thing has magical force. The divine striking stone's mouth widened, feeling incomparable shock. 
A small winding path paved with divine stones led inwards, and there were all types of green jade bamboos as well. This place was extremely mysterious, the spiritual essence rich to a terrifying degree, who would have expected to see this immortal realm-like scene within a world of poison and bugs. Shahal said with a sigh. They entered this small world and walked on the tangled and complicated road, moving past the murderous formations, directly heading into the interior. All types of multicolored light flew past, white mists coiling about, it was just like an immortal's home. Shahal could clearly remember that when he had just entered Immortal Ancient, Immortal Palace's inheritor went looking for a place to cultivate, but as a result provoked a heavenly deity-level flood dragon, and it chased him all the way out. This place clearly didn't have the aura of a flood dragon, a pure land. He couldn't help but sigh. Immortal Palace's backing truly was deep and profound, their understanding of Immortal Ancient deep, knowing about many of its precious lands. Just up ahead, a divine spring roiled, surging with auspicious energy. White-colored spiritual essence pervaded the air, making this place seem like a place detached from the mortal world. On the side, purple-colored spiritual bamboo were everywhere and coiling with white mists. There were streaks of divine rainbows as well that connected into the sky, interweaving together, the aura exceptional, as if an immortal was overseeing this place. Within the purple bamboo forest was a strange stone that curled with wisps of immortal mist. Tens of thousands of streaks of multicolored light swirled around its surroundings, producing an astonishing sight. One could vaguely sense waves of Tao sounds. On the strange stone sat an unmoving figure, his body releasing waves of Tao sounds. He was cultivating in isolation, comprehending the great Tao, unaware of the outside world, don't act rashly. This purple bamboo forest contains tremendous killing intent, with immortal palaces ancient formation here. If one hastily rushes in, their body and Tao might be erased. Ching Yi said. Shahao nodded. He naturally saw some clues. That stone was half a jong in size, entirely grayish-brown, looking rather simple and unadorned, but over ten thousand streaks of light swirled around it, none of these lights making contact with the stone itself. There were strands of immortal energy outside as well that looked incomparably exotic. Ching Yi said softly, this stone looks a lot like Immortal Palace's Tao Comprehension Stone. It is rumored that there are three of them. I never expected that one of their legendary holy objects would be brought into Immortal Ancient. They were secretly conversing. They were still quite far, so they weren't scared of alerting Immortal Palace's inheritor, this thing. I think I want it. The divine striking stone began to drool. How long will it take to break through the formation? Shahau asked the divine striking stone. Even though there are similarities between this and Stone Village's formation, there are other changes, so it will be extremely difficult to completely break through it. We can break through midway, but heading forward will require a lot of time and research. The Divine Striking Stone said. It was clear that if this continued, they would alert Immortal Palace's inheritor, allowing him to make preparations. Then let's not break it and just scare him until he goes mad. He and Ching Yi discussed with each other which type of Dao sounds would harm the cultivating Immortal Palace inheritor the most. In the end, Ching Yi taught him Heaven Mending Sex Dragon Cry technique, while she herself prepared to use the Phoenix Cry sound. When these two divine sounds were used together, the power would increase drastically. The dragon cry technique wasn't too difficult. As long as one's cultivation was high enough and they understood the secret method, it would be displayed quite smoothly, only, the consumption of magical force would be quite great. Shahal thought to himself for a bit, and then he finished his preparations. Apart from this, he also activated that pill furnace, preparing to use endless lightning to attack that great formation. The divine striking stone also set up an offensive formation to assist from the side start. Immediately afterward, Shahao and Ching Yi rushed forward, immediately erupting with divine sounds, dragon and phoenix cries shook the world, hundreds of times greater than thunder as they erupted here. Apart from this, the purple bamboo forest's great formation was attacked as well, erupting with demonic sound that was extremely terrifying, immediately making this place chaotic. Immortal Palace's inheritor who was currently at the critical point of comprehension, his body and mind clear, forgetting his material self, felt as if he was struck by lightning, as if he was cursed. His body trembled violently, and with a P.U. sound, he spat out a large mouthful of blood carrying silver radiance. Apart from this, in his body, the immortal blood scattered in disarray, releasing blinding scarlet multicolored light, about to shoot out through his body, causing some of his flesh to split apart. His entire body became covered in blood. Immortal Palace's inheritor was disturbed by external demons, immediately suffering serious injuries, his body almost dying and his Tao erased. Immortal blood wasn't something that easy to merge with. 
Fortunately, Immortal Palace's ancient ancestor neutralized the killing energy and other things. However, despite this being the case, before the symbols within were completely comprehended, they were still not something a deity could completely control, ah, half of Immortal Palace Inheritor's body became rotten, his hair disheveled, looking like a malicious spirit. It was a tragic sight. He fell on his back on top of the strange stone. Shahao didn't feel the slightest bit of sympathy towards this, because this person had tried to kill him several times, even offering a bounty to claim him as a battle servant, even cruelly instilling curses on his divine generals, treating them like criminals, you all, half of Immortal Palace Inheritor's body suffered from the corrosion of immortal blood, making him lose perception. His eye sockets felt like they were going to split apart. He stared at those two people with absolute fury, kill. Shahao shouted loudly. He indicated towards the divine striking stone, having it break through the formation, pretending that it was quite easy, as if they could quickly break through it. Only, no one expected to see this type of result. Before a bloody conflict happened, the man and stone pair obtained a pile of natural luck, frightening off Immortal Palace's heaven-warping hero. This was simply unimaginable. A present world matchless young supreme being unexpectedly suffered a loss, almost going mad, half his body in tatters and unmovable. The cultivators of all different sects looked like they saw ghosts, the expressions on their faces as extreme as they could be. This was just too unexpected, shameless. In the outside world, several old servants stood outside an ancient bronze immortal palace. All of their eyes were widened in anger, their white beards shaking. They were truly angered to the extreme. There was even a light cold snort that sounded from within the ancient copper palace, carrying anger. This was a tremendous humiliation to immortal palace. He wasn't injured due to battle, but instead running frantically, how could this be tolerated, Supreme Hall Zivildor, even his ancestor has been defeated, yet he still wants to defy the heavens in this realm. He should have been killed a long time ago. Right at this moment, a dragon-headed crocodile appeared from the void. It was enormous like a mountain, blood energy surging into the heavens. It roared with a low voice, shaking the heavens until it began to tremble slightly. Dragon-blooded ancestral crocodile. It was too angry. After watching its heir die, and then Immortal Palace's inheritor not being able to get revenge, instead fleeing after being heavily injured, it truly wished it could immediately slaughter its way into Immortal Ancient. Everyone trembled. However, everyone quickly shifted their attention to that small world. They all stared at that Dao Comprehension Stone, seeing whether Shahao's group could bring it away or not. Many people's eyes were burning with greed. That was a supreme treasure. Immortal Palace was unexpectedly going to lose one here. This was unimaginable, wasn't there a rumor that once Immortal Palace's main body and second body merge, he will be unmatched among the younger generation? Why is he in such a sorry state today, not standing there and instead running? Someone said. This was without a doubt a clear slap to their faces. Everyone became shocked. Who dared to say this, actually speaking such nonsense in front of Immortal Palace giants' faces? Didn't they fear incurring a great disaster onto themselves, ha ha, indeed, even the Tao Comprehension Stone was lost. Just waiting for that inheritor to return and be killed now. Another person said cynically. Who is this, able to display a stellar reflection? He is at the other end of the starry sky, yet unexpectedly, appeared to deal with Immortal Palace's giant. Everyone was shaken up, their hearts stirring with great waves the undying existence, it's him. Finally, someone recognized who it was. If Shahao was here, he would definitely recognize him as well. This was precisely the undying existence who struggled free from the lower realm. He now appeared again, Immortal Palace's old fellas, you all should forget about trying to flaunt your age. If you all want to harm Huang when he appears in the outside world, then just wait for the day I return from the uninhabited region. I'll wipe all of you out one by one. The undying existence spoke, domineering to the extreme. Everyone was shaken up. Many people knew that he was forced into the boundless uninhabited region by a few sects, now gone for quite so time. However, today, he unexpectedly displayed the stellar reflection here, you all wish to bully the youth that I care about? All of you have disciples as well. If you don't want them to be wiped out, then all of you better play your part. The undying existence added. Behind him was another indistinct elderly figure. He also towered there, clearly from the uninhabited region as well. All sects trembled. There really might be the distance of a starry sky between the undying existence and this place. 
Now that he displayed his reflection here in such a domineering manner, it proved that his cultivation advanced once again, Huang, actually has this kind of backing, an undying lord that is truly bad to provoke or trouble. Truly unexpected. Someone said softly, it is a bit bad. If we are talking about the lower realm, there is still a willow tree. Someone said softly. Soon after, everyone shut their mouths, no longer discussing this when you return, I'll personally kill you. A voice sounded from Immortal Palace, originating from an ancient existence, ringing through the air like a golden bell, whoever dares to harm the youth I favor, I will unleash a great slaughter on that sect. The undying existence said. Then, the stellar reflection disappeared. No one said anything for a long time, and quite a few people felt their heads become heavy, feeling a great wave of chilliness. Immortal ancient, within a small world. Immortal place inheritor's entire body was covered with blood, half his body in tatters. His injuries were extremely severe. He endured the rage and calmed himself down, silently adjusting his breathing to neutralize his injuries. A wondrous sound could be heard. Within his body, speck after speck of scarlet multicolored blood droplets flowed out, and then they were carefully stored within a jade container. This was immortal blood, something difficult to find throughout the world. It was enough to make all sex fight crazily over it. He was disturbed during his comprehension, unable to merge with it for now. He once again extracted it from his body and carefully sealed it within a jade container. Only then did he begin to treat his injuries. He produced a divine level crystal, undid the seal, and then a divine pill that blossomed with radiant brilliance emerged. It was incomparably dazzling, golden light releasing in tens of thousands of streaks. He swallowed it in one gulp. His body released a thunderous sound, and then his flesh began to heal at a visible speed, recovering his injuries. Within the purple bamboo forest, the formation rumbled, Dao patterns resplendent. Two hours later, the divine striking stone finally opened up a small path, breaking apart a corner of the ancient formation. They could thus enter, ha ha. Dao comprehension stone. It cried out strangely, rushing over to bite down on it. However, Sha Hao grabbed it in one go. This thing definitely couldn't be destroyed. Soon after, he arrived in Radiant City, standing outside the city alone, roaring, Wang, do you dare fight against me? Today, I will remove your head. This world-shaking roar shook all of Radiant Realm, Huang, get out here. If you don't want to die, then I can take you as a servant. Immortal Palace roared, Great One, there is news that he is in Green Spirit Realm. Only after a while had passed did someone come in to quietly report. Immortal Palace's inheritor rushed through the skies, disappearing from this place, Huang, hand over your life. Soon after, he appeared in Green Spirit Realm. Shahao welcomed him high in the sky. You finally came. I was waiting for such a long time already. Is your true form humanoid? If not, I'll turn you into a casserole just like the great golden winged peng. Everyone's attentions were caught by it, and not even Immortal Palace Inheritor was an exception. There was endless killing intent on his face, his eyes cold like blades as he glared at it. Ye, you also opened up a martial Dao heavenly eye? The divine striking stone gave Immortal Palace's inheritor a look, and then cried out strangely, no wonder. You had so many stone cores. Thanks a bunch by the way. It was because we plundered your secret nest that Huang was able to quickly open up his heavenly eye. It really was a great help. Nearby, the heads of all the cultivators wanted to split open. Quite a few people knew what stone cores were. There was actually this type of great natural luck that appeared. In that instant, Immortal Palace's head of hair flew upwards, battle intent surging. He saw the mysterious symbols in Shahao's pupils. That was a sign of the Martial Dao Heavenly Eye opening. There were some who opened it between their brows, others who opened it within their two eyes, each different. However, their characteristics were the same, all of them condensed from symbols, glistening and resplendent, you've succeeded in angering me. Symbol light erupted from his entire body, killing intent flourishing even greater, forget it. You should forget about mentioning how he ran away like a startled pigeon, leaving behind that wonderful stone for us. Shahao said, waving his hand to have the divine striking stone back off. Immortal Palace's inheritor was going mad. His head of hair completely stood up, his battle intent risen to its peak, kill. In that instant, he turned into a nine-headed bird, revealing nine heads, all of them releasing dark light. Black feathers covered heaven and earth as they spread outwards. This type of aura was incomparably brutal, filled with a wave of heaven overflowing killing intent. Shahao released a roar, and then he immediately produced three heads and six arms, using the Xu Yang race's great divine ability to face him. 
This was a great collision. Both sides took action with full power, as if two unmatched gods and devils were competing, shaking the mountains all around them. The mountain forest immediately exploded. Fortunately, they were fighting in the sky, or else this battle would result in even more terrifying destruction, nine-headed undying body. Immortal Palace Inheritor said softly. His entire body flourished with dark light, immediately surging with sky-covering symbols. The nine heads chanted sutras to support himself, splitting into nine great demonic deities. Shahal's expression didn't change. He released a short shout, lightning moves the nine heavens. In that instant, clouds gathered from all sides, connecting the heavens and moving the earth. He was gathering all lightning between heaven and earth, guiding the great lightning tribulation. Lightning poured over like a sea, attacking indiscriminately. The nine great demonic deities couldn't escape, all of them surrounded within. Only the original body could borrow the great halberd to cut apart the void and escape. As a result, the nine great divine devils scattered, nine erased, but not dead, reappear. Immortal Palace's inheritor shouted loudly. The scattered demonic deities unexpectedly appeared again, recombining, Wu, don't tell me that your original body is an undying nine-headed bird, Shaha was shocked. With a sure sound, he rushed forward, his palms and fingers like jade, condensing a strange symbol. Heaven Calamity Light erupted boundlessly, rushing forward, all of them attacking that body. At the same time, Shahau used his magical immunity divine ability before slaughtering his way towards Immortal Palace's inheritor. Shahau's body moved. The three heads and six arms enlarged, and the Kuan Peng wings appeared. This time, three pairs of enormous wings appeared, and they slammed over murderously together. Meanwhile, his six arms shone as well, their palms surging with symbols, forming the heaven's hand. This precious technique was still damaged at the moment, but with the passage of time, it would gradually produce a mysterious method. However, it was still a bit blurry. This time, Shahau also used the lightning technique with it. He overlaid two types of precious techniques, attacking with full force. The collision this time was incomparably ferocious, Ku and Peng wings split apart the skies, the human immortal imprint suppressing everything in this world. Lightning overflowed, the nine-headed undying bird roared. This place erupted, symbols covering the sky. The two of them flew outwards, blood flowing from their mouths and noses. In the distance, it was dead silent. No one dared say anything. These two people were too strong. Ching Yi revealed a hint of worry. No one understood how extraordinary Shahao was than her, yet in the end, he couldn't suppress Immortal Palace's inheritor. The effects of merging both bodies together was heaven defying after all. She believed that if it was someone else in Shahao's place, they would have definitely died just now, their body and soul erased. As for the outside world, the cultivators of the outside world didn't think this way. They believed that after Immortal Palace's main and second body merged together, it should be powerful enough to sweep through all heroes of this world, never expecting that he still had an enemy capable of contending against him. Huang could still stop him. Immortal Palace's inheritor already calmed down, his mind recovering from the divine striking stone stimulation. He believed himself to be unmatched in this world, never expecting Huang to be this powerful, still unable to kill him after merging both bodies. His eyes were like those of a falcon's, sharp like cold electricity. Symbols flickered. He became incomparably calm, searching for Shahao's weaknesses to decide things in one blow. On the other side, this was the case for Shahao as well, searching for the other party's weakness. The Kuan Peng wings on his back covered the heavens, becoming incomparably large, kill. The two of them shouted, rushing at each other again. On Immortal Palace Inheritor's back, scarlet multicolored light emerged. A true phoenix's wings appeared, its brilliant feathers like immortal swords. Kung Chiong sounds rang through the skies. This was a great divine ability. Even though it wasn't the complete true phoenix precious technique, it was one of the most powerful loose moves. In addition, his hands were forming imprints, displaying the immortal king nine seals, creating a cage in the void to suppress Shahao. In reality, his figure didn't increase, but it still gave others this type of feeling, as if he could suppress everything in this world. The supreme being blood in his body roared, surging like a sea. It released a great rumbling sound, surging between his limbs and white bones. Heaven's hand and reincarnation symbols combined together, their power increased who knew how many times. Shahao took a large step forward and released a palm. Heaven and earth trembled. Immortal Palace Inheritor's precious techniques were scattered, blasted through. In addition, the Immortal Dao Wisps also dissipated, disappearing into the void. Immortal Palace's Inheritor flew outwards, 
blood spraying out from his mouth, unknown how many of his bones were broken, how could this be? I cultivated with two bodies, I have endless potential. Why is it like this? Immortal palaces inherit a roar towards the sky. The supreme being blood in Shahal's body became more and more resplendent. Two types of innate symbols merged together, continuously transforming, becoming incomparably terrifying. With a casual move of his hand, a dong sound rang through the air. Half of Immortal Palace Inheritor's body seemed to be blasted into mush, flying out again. Green Spirit Realm, a small world full of vitality, I am unwilling to accept this. Immortal Palace's Inheritor took steps backwards. His body was aging and crumbling apart. Shahal's palm was too powerful, containing two types of supreme being techniques. Heaven's hand made his flesh split apart, while the reincarnation symbols made his body with a decline and deteriorate. At first, everyone thought that he only had half his body blasted into tatters, but what happened afterwards made their fine hairs stand up one after another. Immortal Palace's inheritor was aging, and his flesh was splitting apart like chinaware, falling off piece by piece. Even his blood was black-colored, lacking luster. On the other side, Wang was calm and unhurried, his black hair hanging down to his waist, his eyes shining like divine rainbows. The supreme being symbols on his flesh swirled about. It was as if he was a demonic lord that had descended into this world, looking down on everyone here, ah, immortal palaces inheritor roared. Half his body split apart, and his flesh was ruined to a completely deformed state, losing its vitality, nine deaths undying. When the reincarnation symbols disappeared, he released a loud roar. Dark light erupted from his body, and an enormous pair of black wings appeared behind him that continuously moved about. The dark light covered the sun. Mysterious symbols spread outwards, surrounding him and quickly recombining his flesh, it really is a nine-headed undying bird with nine lives. Shahal was shocked. He calmly watched without stopping this process. Immortal Palace's inheritor unexpectedly recovered, his flesh shining as if perfectly intact. The wings on his back moved, and black-colored feathers shot out like divine arrows. Shahal stood in his original location without dodging. He supported his only heavenly passage, forming a resplendent screen of light that protected him. P.U.P.U. sounds continuously rang out. All of the black-colored plume feathers landed on the heavenly passage, these feathers even sharper than divine arrows, able to shoot down enormous mountains. However, at this moment, they broke apart inch by inch, unable to move forward. Outside the only heavenly passage, under Shahal's feet, broken arrows covered the ground, all of them surging with dark light and powerful divine force fluctuations, plucking your own feathers, are you already prepared to be cooked? Shahal asked. Immortal Palace's inheritor seethed with anger. He released a loud roar. In the distance, the mountain ridges split apart one after another, collapsing one after another. One could well imagine how powerful he was. His main and second body merged, so he should have been unmatched in this world, yet who would have expected that he would be defeated a second time, moreover so miserably, even if you have nine lives, I will still kill you all the same. Shahal walked over. Right now, he had a conviction of being unmatched. With the revival of his supreme being blood, he became more powerful than ever before, just die. Immortal Palace's inheritor was going mad. The immortal feather armor was put on, and then his entire body shone with brilliant luster. Large amounts of pure white feathers floated about in his surroundings. This was Immortal Palace's curse. This type of copper rust was Immortal Palace's supreme treasure, something that came off of the bronze Immortal Palace and refined through a secret method. Once it entered one's body, it was hard to remove, directly resulting in a painful death. Bronze Immortal Palace, this was known as one of the higher realm's greatest supreme treasures. When Shahal was in the lower realm, he almost died because of a piece of green copper rust, losing his supreme being bone and being buried in the earth. He only revived after struggling for more than a year. Now that he saw this curse again today, how could he not be angry? Only, things were very different now. Shahal had already become a deity, and when facing Immortal Palace, he remained calm and unperturbed. He took action tyrannically. Green light covered the sky as they shot over, but they were all scattered by Shahal, unable to approach and enter his body. Immortal Palace's inheritor opened and closed his eyes. He chanted true sutras from his mouth, and his body had immortal light coiling about it. In addition, his hands were forming imprints, displaying the curse's fundamental power to support this attack, kill. He released a light shout. Endless green light condensed, and one piece was especially large, sharp like sword radiance. It was the size of a fist, flying towards Shahal. 
This was the curse after receiving the support of chance and magical imprints. It pierced through the void, the scene extremely intimidating. Shahal's only heavenly passage moved. That green copper rust pressed forward, approaching his body and almost pressing against his flesh. Shahal reached out two fingers and then pressed the green copper rust between them. Is your performance finished? What other methods do you have left? You can display them all now. Shahal said, his voice calm. However, it was precisely these words that made Immortal Palace's inheritor stagger, his face pale. His body swayed intensely, as if he received a heavy blow. His confidence received a great blow. No one dared to say anything random. They all quietly watched everything. Everyone knew that something major was about to happen. Immortal Palace's inheritor had been defeated, and was likely going to die. The supreme being blood in Shahal's body released a rumbling sound like ocean waves, rushing through his limbs and bones, making his vitality flourish to the peak. After an intense confrontation, a rain of blood splashed outwards. Immortal Palace's inheritor was killed once again, his ruined body flying outwards. If it was a normal person they would have long had their body and Dao extinguished. However, his flesh became blurry, his body recombining, assembling together, unexpectedly reviving again, nine-headed bird, nine lives undying body. Everyone was now sure that he had this type of ancient bloodline, and successfully activated it, this is fine as well. Killing you nine times will properly allow you to understand the distance between life and death. Shahal said. As such, the supreme being blood shone again. His body was shrouded in auspicious energy, becoming greater in volume and more hazy, as if he was a matchless devil king. Green spirit realm was quiet. Everyone was trembling. The insufferably arrogant immortal palace inheritor, the one known to be one of the 3,000 province's most powerful young supreme beings, he was killed just like that? This video will end here. Thank you for watching.